Okay. So today I'm going to do a quick look at this brand new Drury Inn Hotel and Suites. And this is a brand new Kone KSS 570 uh, probably eco disc traction elevator. There's an office there. And here is the elevator. Oh, are you going up? Okay. We'll go up to seven quick. Close the door. Stopping at five. Yep, I know. I know. We're still headed up. And then we'll yeah. Back. Sorry. <laughs> yes, yeah, so now we're going to go up to seven. Okay. Yeah, Republic Plaza is one of my favorite ones. These are the new Kone fixtures. They're not as cheap as the old ones. And they've got really nice granite flooring in these new hotels. Here's a view out the window. There's another hotel over there. I don't know what that one is. There's a bowling alley. And I am getting a special guided tour of this place. So here's another view of the elevators. There's two of them on the seventh floor here. There's the Kone KSS 570 buttons. Brand new. And there is copyrighted music, dang it. Yeah, so we're gonna have to try to go around that. Here's the hotel hallways. Don't want to get anyone really in the view because that's not something I do. And, and here is the some random sides and stuff. Uh, I don't really know what those are for. Yes, I guess I'm just gonna go take a ride back down quick. I'm guessing one of these elevators is, uh, is also doubles as a uh, service elevator? Yes. Is it this one here? They, uh, they don't left? pick one versus the other. They have the ability they, to put the, um, the covers. Oh, they just cover them up? Yeah. Yeah, I know. A lot of them in many hotels have rear doors, and a main elevator will also double as a service elevator. And I'm thinking for the weight, I'm actually just going to pause. Ah, okay. And they run out of money because of the economic downturn. I'm gonna go down one floor. Uh, you're going to six. Yes. And I'm gonna go down to five. Door close and door open to light up. I push the open button now because that'll reopen the door. Are you having a good visit here? Got you. Good. So here's six. Yes, both well, door open and door close light up. It's pretty neat. I should get a little look at the cab. I don't want to get everyone else in there. Oh, there's a mirror there. I'll just look at me. Hi. <laughs> yep, so. It's a nice mirrored elevator cab. Yep, here's five. Yeah, now we can go get a tour of a brand new Drury Inn hotel room. This is going to be a long one. Yes, and I don't want to get our friend here giving us the tour in the video if he doesn't want to be in the video, so... <laughs> I'm, uh... To the left, and I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. okay. Alright, so here is one of the new rooms. Wow. It's a very nice room. Is that a sleeper? Yeah. There's your table and your chair. This is the king suite. Oh, cool. oh, so this is the king suite. And here's the, uh, this is the couch, but I think it turns into a bed. Nice footstool. TV with the weather on it. There's your desk and chair for computers and stuff like that. Looks like the little kitchenette area would be here. I don't know where the refrigerator is. Microwave and refrigerator and stuff. Ah, the refrigerator and microwave are in these cabinets. Oh, look at that. There's the microwave. And there's a refrigerator. Cool. Yep. And here we have the bathroom mirror. Hi, everyone. There's the toilet. And I'm not going to run the water or anything because this hotel is new. And 
I don't think they'd want that. And look at this here. It looks like this is supposed to represent a marble ball, although that is just tile, I think. Oh, and I just noticed something here. Look at how they organize the soap in these. They're special bottles built into like soap dispensers. That's pretty neat. Anyways, we come into this bedroom suite here and it's a separate room. There's a mirrored closet it looks like here. Another mirror. Hi everyone. Yep, this is the closet. Which is pretty neat. And there's the iron and the uh, the hangers. And these, these floors are really tall too. Look at how tall these hotel floors are. This, this isn't very common in most hotels. It's, I'd say the floor height in most hotels is probably about two feet less than this. There's a few different decorations on the walls, just some uh, paintings and stuff. And it looks like there's vents, fire alarms, and smoke detectors too. There's the bed, king size bed I think. There's the clock, got the lights on, we got two TVs here, and a little dresser. Anyways, so that's a complete view of this room. Ah, and they've got new RFID card scanners here too. And this is an open house, so I was able to get into doing these hotel tours for free this time. And uh, which room is this one? This one is the standard double queen. Standard double queen suite this time. And yeah, we'll start with the bathroom because, well, that's the first thing when you enter the room. Mirror. Hi. The sinks look the same and has the same flooring as the other room. But the bathroom is a little bit of a different design. The toilet is up against the wall. And there's your bathtub again. Again with the same soap dispensers. There's a handrail and the same marble tile wall. And here we have another closet. Oh, sorry, I'm shaking a little bit there. Here's a TV, only one TV in this room. Coffee maker is on the cabinet there. And I think, are these doors? Oh, these are doors. There's the microwave and fridge in this cabinet. Whoop, don't want to let that slam shut. So here is the desk here in this room. And there's a phone and some plugins there. You got another mirror. Mirrors are always pretty common in hotels, at least new ones. There's a view out to the parking lot. Uh, my car's parked somewhere around there. I think it's the, uh, there, the Chevy with the bikes on it, if you can see that. It might be hard to see beyond that tree. Anyways, we are on the fifth floor right now. That's where the open rooms are, so. Here's the queen beds. We got two of them. This is typically the kind of room I would stay in, except usually the rooms I stay in also have a couch. Yeah, otherwise this is pretty nice. I don't see a couch in this one, actually. So, yeah, this is just your typical room, I'm gonna guess. And there's the uh, baggage support thing. This is a locked door here. I don't know where that goes. Um, staircase? Yeah, that's all the heat, I think. Yeah. So. so here's a view of the hallway again. Are we heading back down? And I have to ask uh, Jim Lee Elevators, what do you think of this hotel? Do you like this one? It's brand new. Yes. It's a YouTube channel, actually. Yes, if you type in elevatingdenver.com, you'll get nothing. So you got to put in my channel name. <laughs> yeah. I've been working on doing are making my videos better than uh, before. I used to be really bad when I started. Well, I'm gonna go up first, then back down, as usual. Yeah, it looks like this elevator is the only one operating right now. 
Is this the only elevator operating at this time? I, I don't believe that's the case. I think we're, we're just getting unlucky <laughs> because I've used the other elevator today. Okay. And I don't know if they may be I could try sending this one up and calling the other one from the bottom floor. No, that's okay. But... Oh, it has a British voice on it, too. That's neat. It's kind of quiet, though. Hard to hear. Uh, going down. Which floor? The one. One. Close up the door. The door kind of closes slowly. There's the fire operator panel. It's a very nice Kone Eco Space elevator. It said first floor, kind of hard to hear. Anyways, I'll let you all exit first. Anyways, we'll quick get a view of the elevator again. And now we'll wait for the doors to close. And since the lobby is bu busy, I'm not going to get a view of that, so that's it.